What is up, everybody? It's your man, I Do It Barber here, and please do not forget to follow me on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, I posted this, my top five starting lineup clippers that I use on a day-to-day -day basis in the barber shop. Now, don't forget to leave your top five in the comments below. I'm curious to know what you guys are rocking with on a day-to-day -day basis, but today, it's not playoff time. We're about halfway through the NBA season. I felt inspired as the new year is rolling in. 2018 is right around the corner. I've got my top five starting lineup in my case here. I felt inspired to do this video. So let's get into my top five clippers that I use on the day to day. Number one, the Andis Super ZR. Now I use these clippers a lot. I actually fade with these. I primarily fade with the blades along with the combination of the adjustables, but primarily this is what I fade with and I love them. I don't just take down bulk with these. I use these a lot. And I talked about these in my cordless clipper review. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. I also posted a haircut tutorial recently with me fading using the detachable blades. So if you guys are curious on how to fade with detachable blades, I will also leave a link to that video in the description below. But I love these clippers, heavy duty, cordless and as you'll see by the theme of these clippers a lot of them are cordless the cordless clipper game is crazy right now if you don't have a pair of cordless clippers i honestly don't know what you're doing number two well i guess in three fake supremes now if you guys don't remember i did a product review on my fake supremes i'll also leave a link to that video in the description below but i love the cordless nvlis these these clippers i, I have two pair of these now, you see one, I went all the way stupid with them. These, I just went 50% stupid with them. I'll, I'll soon be going 100% stupid with these clippers as well. But I love these clippers. A lot of people don't like the, the cordless MVs or even the corded MVs for that matter. They don't like them. Maybe it's the blade. I'm not sure what it is, but I love them. I, be, I bought these clippers. These were my first pair of cordless clippers and I loved them. I got used to them. They're zero gapped, of course. And this is what I use to take care of that zero through one area. And I get very tight blends. If you don't know by now, follow me on Instagram, as I said, but these, I love them. Uh, the, the battery life haven't had any problems out of them. They, they're pretty durable. Now I've dropped these a few times. Have, I mean, the blade adjusted, but other than that, I haven't had any problems out of these clippers. Now, a lot of barbers, they like the Magic Clips, you know, maybe the Cortland Seniors, that's if you have a pair, Babyliss, or JRE, Ooh, is it JRE, JRL, whatever it is. But they love those clippers. I love these. These these are my workhorses. As you can see, I have two pair. Honestly, honestly, I have two pair of everything. I just love these things. Give these a shot. It may be the blade, and as you can see, it has that weird curved blade on there. I know maybe a lot of barbers don't like that. However, what you could do and one solution for you guys is, I've seen that you can put the wall senior surgical blade on here. Now, the only thing that will happen is the clipper, the, they'll actually sound a little bit different, but you still get the same performance. And you can get that surgical blade that you like. I know a lot of barbers like that. I honestly don't really prefer a surgical blade. I more prefer a blade that like this because I use it a lot or a blade like the Mas Masters, which is more like a tapered blade. But like I said, I get the job done. Just go look at my cuts on Instagram. Now, what you guys have to remember is this. These clippers work for me. They don't work for every other barber. Other barbers may prefer the wall magic clips, maybe the seniors, maybe the babyliss, maybe the JRL, whatever clipper you prefer. I'm not gonna get upset that you like a certain clipper over this one. That is just your preference. For me, I actually learned how to use these clippers the right way. Now, if I would have had time to spend using the Magic Clips or any other adjustable clipper out there, I might love those just as much as I love these. But for the here and now, this is what I love because this is my first cordless clipper and this is actually what I learned. Not really, I also learned on the Masters, but I learned to fade with these. I've learned how to use these clippers in and out and I got really good using these clippers. So this is what I use. So. I would tell everyone to give these a shot. And like I say, if you don't like that blade, you also have the other alternative I just told you. So, hey, I gave you a little tip. And remember, relax your mind and let your conscience free and get down with the sounds of EPMD. The Andis Envy Cordless Li Clipper will do you wonders in your barber game. If you only would just make a simple purchase or two or three if you like. 
you will come to realize that the cordless NVLI is a great clipper. You will put all of your other clippers in the closet and solely fade with the cordless NVLI. Trust me. Believe me. They're great. But seriously, number four, I've got to have my Slimline Pro Li's. These little clippers, if you set them correctly, they do wonders. I love these things. I haven't had any problems. I've known people, they've had problems with the battery, which I haven't had any problems with them. I've seen people have problems with the switches. I haven't had any problems with those but I just absolutely love these. I use them to edge up. I use them to bald out. They can erase a shaver line. I have no problems with these clippers. I absolutely love them. Cordless, I like that the blade is small because what happened is I use these a lot on kids that have that little tiny box right there. Especially if you go in with like some T outliners or some detailers, you might cut off their eyebrow, have give them two slash in the eyebrow trying to wild out. Three cuts in your eyebrow trying to wild out. But these are great, I love them. And it's hard for me not to use these on a the day to day because when I'm using my T outliners, it's they're like great and they also don't get hot. That's another thing that I love about these. Now, okay, let's be honest. Let's just be honest, guys. They can get hot. However, you would have to be using these for more than 10 minutes straight for these to get hot. Now, if you're talking about some T outliners on the other hand, they're gonna get hot after about five minutes of, of straight use. And that is why I like them. I just absolutely love them and I have to have these in my kit. Number five, uh, I can go anywhere without a pair of T outliners. Now, as you saw with the theme of my top five starting clippers, they're all cordless with the exception of these. I have to have a pair of corded T outliners. I know they're coming out with some cordless T outliners. I don't know how they perform, but I gotta have these. The power you feel when you turn these on, you don't get that in most cordless clippers. And the way these hit, cordless clippers just don't hit like these. Now, I know you guys see the gold blade flickering and you know, I ho hope there's no epilepsy or hope nobody catches a seizure or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I, please forgive me, call 911. But don't ask me where I got the gold blades from. I just honestly, the place I got them from, they don't have them anymore and it's they're really hard to find. But I absolutely love these. These are the blackout editions. I put the gold blades on here. I actually have a pair of black GTX as well with the gold blades. I love these things. I only use these to edge up. I don't use these to bald out. That's actually what my Slimline Pro LIs are for. Those are my workhorses for balding out and I also use them to edge up. But to preserve the blade on these and seeing how these are such a hot commodity and they're so hard to find. I prefer to just edge up with these and, pre and preserve the blade. These are zero gap and modified. Now here's the thing, I, I, I read in the comments of another video that I did, which featured these clippers. A lot of people were saying the gold blades don't hit. Speak for yourself, because my gold blades hit. The thing is you have to get these things set precisely to hit the way you want them to. Same thing with the, uh, the Slimline Pro Elias. A lot of people gave them flack because they're like, ah, they're cordless, they don't have enough power. If you set them right, you can get them to hit for you. You can get them to do some magical things for you. Now, I had the same problems with my Slimline Pro Elias until I actually set them right and modified them. But now, I absolutely love them. And that's my starting lineup. Don't forget to leave your top five starting lineup in the comments below that you rock with on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe this video. Leave comments below on any other content that you would like to see. I do do request. It's I Do a Barber signing out. I will holler.